Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian and we are here at GDC 2019. NVIDIA has a ton of goodies out on the show floor and to understand it all, I'm going to talk to a bunch of experts to explain everything to me. Let's check it out. Now, here at the NVIDIA booth is something I wasn't expecting to see at GDC 2019, and that is Quake 2, a game from 22 years ago. So what makes NVIDIA decide that 2019 is the time to show off Quake 2? Well, this year it can happen because we have the RTX GPUs that we announced last year. And those RTX GPUs are so good at ray tracing that we can use them to pass trace the whole Quake 2 in real time. We added direct sunlight with dynamic time of day, high dynamic range skylight, reflections and refractions in the water. We added physically based materials with normal maps. And if you compare our Quake 2 RTX to what was released 22 years ago, it's just night and day. So if I were to look at the original Quake 2 compared to this in like an indoor setting, what's the differences I would notice in the lighting? All the shadows are computed from the local lights and all the lights are area lights. So all the shadows are soft and natural. When you shoot something like a rocket or a BFG, it illuminates the room around it. And those shadows are still soft because the projectile itself is also a big area light. So I'm here with Matt, and Matt, what do we have behind us? So we're showing Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Fortnite on our cloud gaming service GeForce Now. Might look like those are running on local PCs, but they're actually being streamed to us from a data center in downtown San Jose. That's really impressive. First of all, it's always weird seeing like a high-end game on a Mac for me. Yeah. And then looking at this little HP notebook, this is what, like 200 bucks or something like that? Yeah, we actually went out and bought it for $180 on Black Friday. <laughs> wow, so about as cheap as you can get. But
freshness and effects that you add to the game and you can play it. So like one of my favorite ones is you can basically make it look like an art piece while you're playing the game, even though that's not really what it is. Behind us over here we have, it's not a demonstration of a game, but a teaser for a movie that you're working on. You're from Goodbye Kansas Studios, you're a VFX house. What am I seeing here? This is a teaser trailer uh, for a piece called Troll. And here we're using the latest ray tracing features from Epic Games and NVIDIA. In Unreal, we can use it for previous. Then we can also render final frame as we did now with this project. We're able to just jump into the editor and tweak the lighting and have the direct feedback from that. And then we just press play and then we can see it play out up to the quality that we're used to from offline renderers. Well, that's what NVIDIA's brought to GDC 2019, but it's not the end of our coverage. We're gonna be interviewing more devs while we're here. So subscribe, stay tuned to GeForce, and I'll see you next time.